Would you like to learn how to make Instant Pot Chicken Alfredo Penne in around 20 minutes? It's a great dinner. Stay tuned to the next episode of Hilltop Stovetop. Hello and welcome back to Hilltop Stove Talk, the show where we're teaching you how to make great meals in an ordinary kitchen. Today I have my good friend Lynn Agnew here with me and we're going to be making Instant Pot Chicken Alfredo Penne, which is a really fast meal to make. And we're doing this especially for Lynn because she's got an Instant Pot of her own and she's a little nervous. <laughs> so I'm going to make her do most of the work. So we're going to start off, and I, I chose this recipe because it has lots of uh, features of the Instant Pot that you're using all in the same recipe. So we're going to start by putting it on the saute mode. And the saute mode basically makes it like a big electric frying pan. Okay. And it's heating up that hot plate that's in the bottom. And uh, we're going to put it whoop, there. That beep tells us that it has accepted our program and it's okay. starting to work. We're going to put in a little bit of olive oil in here and we're going to start off by browning our chicken breasts. Now I've, the recipe, you really only need two chicken breasts for this. I'm going to do four so we've got a little bit of extra. And I'm going to start by taking some paper towel and just patting these dry. Because as we know, if we have them a little bit drier, they're going to brown better. So we'll just see how is this doing here. Will you hear it sizzling? Uh, you, you, a little bit, yeah. There. Okay, so there's one down. And we're not going to worry about cooking these all the way through. We're just going to brown them. Okay. And because the rest of the cooking will happen in the, um, when, we, when we cook the pasta part. This is but we don't want them to be not brown because otherwise you've got white sauce and white pasta and white chicken breast and it would be a really boring looking meal. <laughs> but still yummy. Still yummy. Oh yeah. Yeah, there is going to be enough garlic in this too that uh, vampires aren't coming. Vampires are not going to be coming after us at all. Okay, is there room for four in there, do you think? Mm -hmm. Let me just see if I can move it around. Yeah, I think so. Okay, we can do that. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. And we did wash our hands before we started, and because I've been handling that raw chicken, I'm going to wash mine again. And then we're going to take a little break while these things brown, and we'll be right back, folks. All right, so we've done one side, and those of you who watch my videos a lot know that I'm always forgetting to put the salt in things. So I did put the salt and pepper on these, <laughs> and they've been flipped over, and I think the other side is about done. So okay. we can just pull it out. Okay. We're just going to put them on the plate here. And, um, mm. yeah, so you can see how they, we've got, I'll just turn this over, so we've got a little bit of browning happening on these ones now and that's the, the main idea. Oh, I got some more left in there. Mm. Another chunk. Okay. Do I have to get these little bits out or is it? Not okay? all the little bits. If okay. there's a couple of little bits in there, we're okay. All okay. right. So now we're going to take, this is be the equivalent of about eight cloves of garlic. Oh, yum. And we're gonna squish that in there. And we're going to um, squish this around and just get it so it's kind of on the fragrant side. Mm. Smelling good? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we have this bowl here. and This is what we're going to be mixing our sauce into. Okay, so I know it's hard to see this on this camera, but we're putting this nice fragrant garlic into the bowl. Put that off to the side. And now I'm going to take, I've got three cups of chicken broth here. The stuff uh, you just buy in the carton? Or did you um, use the... the it, whatever yeah. works for you. Okay. I had, um, I happen to have some concentrated stuff that I mixed with boiling water. But, Perfect. Uh, and I'm going to put about 
Just put half a cup of that in there. And deglaze this pan. Get all those little bits off the bottom. Oh, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. that's, a cool, that's a cool little tool. Oh, yes. Yeah. So this is one of my favorite Pampered Chef tools. Oh, nice. Because it gets, it has a lot of surface area um, on the bottom of the uh, the pot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so does it look like we got all the little right, bits yep. loosened up? Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So now we're going to turn turn this off. We've got that taken care of, and I've got a pound of penne pasta here that I pre measured. I'm going to dump that in there Ooh. without boiling it. Without boiling it, and then we're going to pour the rest of the chicken broth over the top of that and I'm going to add just a hair more water because I want to make sure that the pasta is pretty much covered. Mm -hmm. That's the main thing. And then we'll take our chicken and you've got your tongs there. Yes I do. We'll lay the chicken on top. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. in too. And then we have this bowl that I have pre-measured so I know that it fits in there. So this is another um, thing that you'll, uh, another step in the Instant Pot. So the, in the Instant Pots you can layer things and that's another feature that I wanted to show there. Oh. And we've got two tablespoons of butter and a cup of heavy cream, so a whipping cream. And we're going to pour that in. As long as it's stainless steel, like a metal? Yeah, any, anything that is um, heat resistant. So, I mean, if you could do this in a Pyrex bowl, I think. But okay. uh, I, I feel safer with it being a metal bowl. Okay. And we're just going to nestle this in on top of that the is cool that and then we're going to put our lid on this is where i get freaked out all the time okay but it makes that little chime okay so you know that your lid is on right all right and if your lid isn't on right it won't work oh okay okay so we've got it set that it's going to be for sealing and we're going to set it on manual and but for four minutes Oh, yeah. Okay. So it takes a few minutes to get up to steam and then it will cook for four minutes. And then the chicken okay, so will be that's done. That's four minutes. That's okay. four minutes. So now we're just going to let it do its thing and then we'll be back when we get to the end of this timer. Okay, we're back and our timer has gone off. We've had four minutes and I did a quick release on this and I didn't film that part because it just steams up the camera. <laughs> but until your pressure is is down on your instant pot you can't take the lid off but now we can okay. and there it does its little chime saying your lid is off oh look at that and there our sauce was all steamy in there so we're going to very carefully lift out our dish here oh, and oh, your... where did my oven mitt go oh this is where i like having an assistant <laughs> okay so our sauce comes out and our chicken, we're going to just put over here on the cutting board. And you can tell by squeezing it that that chicken is cooked now. It's not all gushy like raw yeah. chicken is. So now we're going to put it back on saute mode again. Okay. And you always have to turn it off before yeah. you can go to the yeah. next. And then okay. we're going to stir this up a little bit because the pasta okay. is kind of stuck together. Okay. that continue to cook just a little bit more but while it's doing that we've got two cups of spinach so we're going to mm -hmm. dump that in and that's also going to give it a little bit of color and interest to our come on I packed it in there well obviously <laughs> yeah I like spinach okay so we'll let that keep cooking and then I have here 
that's out of the way. I've got about 30 grams of Parmesan cheese. So I'm going to add that into our sauce. Stir that all in together. And I just about picked up that bowl. By, without your mitts. Without my mitts. So we're going to add some of this back in. Oh, it smells so amazing. And we'll just let, you know, we're going to let this cook until the, the spinach is cooked and that sauce is kind of reduced a little bit. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to take this chicken and slice it up a little bit. It gets cooked right through. That's nuts. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to add these back in. And I'd done more than enough because um, I was wanted to have a couple of chicken breasts for other things at another time. So I can add these chicken breasts into a Caesar salad or something. Besides that, how's that look? Let me stir it. Yeah, if you stir that, I think I'll put one more in there since there's three of us for lunch. Is it best to use the silicone in the Instant Pot or does it matter if it's it, a metal? Or it doesn't matter if it's metal with the Instant Pot because it's not a non-stick uh, surface with oh, it. Okay. Yeah. That just happened oh. to be what I had, so. Perfect. Because a lot of my other dishes, I have to use the silicone with them, so. Okay, mm. get that out of the way. And then we take our plate and add, we've got a little bit of a salad here. I think we can turn that off now. Yeah. So if I wanted to turn it off, just there's go that's there. the red button. That's okay. the red button. All right. And then we're going to add the, I am going to pour the rest of the sauce into it at this point. Even after it's off? Even after. Okay. Because it, it does stay warm for a little while. That, that, okay. that, Do you that stir it up? Yeah, please. That um, hot plate on the bottom um, doesn't cool right away. It's fairly quick, but not right away. Oh my gosh, that looks. So yummy looking. And there we go. Make sure we got lots of sauce. And we do have some garlic bread warming up to sop up all the extra sauce. Oh. Why would you eat anywhere else than Shea Ellen's? There you go. Absolutely. <laughs> so there we have it. Uh, Instant Pot, uh, pasta, uh, fettuccine, what did I say? Fettuccine Chini? Alfredo oh. penne. And so I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Hilltop Stovetop with my guest chef, Lynn Agnew. Going to try it on my own. <laughs> and don't forget to like and subscribe and watch all the rest of our videos. And we'll see you again soon. And just so you know, how, how long did that take us? 20 minutes? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Crazy. Easy peasy, right? <laughs> all right. We'll see you at the next episode. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.